Guys, I love history. Like, I really love history. If you know anything about me, you know that I love history. From elementary school to middle school, high school, college, even in seminary, history was my favorite subject. Math? No. No. But history, history was a subject that I could get behind. I love it. I love reading about it in books, watching documentaries, to even walking in the very places that have existed hundreds to even thousands of years ago. Over the last year, I've gotten to visit some pretty cool places. Places like Fort Sumner in South Carolina, Mount Vernon in Virginia, and even the Valley of Armageddon in Israel. Which is where this photo that you're currently looking at was taken. As you look at the photo now, what you see is fertile land where crops grow. Crops like tobacco and corn and wheat. It's hard to believe that over 200 battles have been fought here. But there's a weight to this land, a heavy weight. The first reported battle to ever take place on Earth happened here in the 15th century BC. From there, Jezebel and King Josiah died in this very battle. There was even a battle from World War I that was fought right here in this place. But you wouldn't know it by simply looking at this photo. You wouldn't know it by looking at it today. The only way to know is to know it from history. There's another thing about this valley. Megiddo is a place where people have built upon ruins for generations. At least 26 layers of civilization make up this hill, dating all the way back to 4500 BC. 26 layers of ruin. There's one more thing about this valley. It's probably the most notable. Armageddon is synonymous to the end of days. Even if you have no knowledge of the Bible, you think of Armageddon as the events that take place when the earth ends. Check this out. Revelations 16 verses 15 through 17. It says, Look, I come like a thief. Blessed is the one who stays awake and remains clothed so as not to go naked and shamefully exposed. Then they gathered the kings together to the place that in Hebrew is called Armageddon. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air, and out of the temple came a loud voice from the throne saying, It is done. You see, this isn't just a battle to end the earth. No, this is a battle where God fights for his creation. In a final battle, God is getting rid of all of the evil. He's getting rid of the bad to prepare for the new. He's getting rid of the old to prepare for the new. All the evil, all the pain, all the hurt God is getting rid of. God is literally in this end battle fighting for his creation. I don't know who needs to hear this today. God knows that I need it every once in a while. But God is fighting for you. He has fought for you in years past. He will fight for you, for you, in the future. And hear this. He is currently fighting for you right now. 
many of us are walking around looking like the Valley of Armageddon, like it looks today. All green, all beautiful, nice hat, nice house, cool car, manicured lawns, good job. But what people can't see, what folks can't see, are the 26 layers of ruin from years past. The hurt, the pain, the harmful decisions, the choices that have hurt others. And God sees all of that and says, I will fight for you and make you new again. God says, I've seen all the wars you've fought. The battles that you're currently encountering. The layers of ruin. And he says, I will still fight for you. God wants you to know that he will fight for you. That he's currently fighting for you. Deuteronomy 1, verses 30 and 31 says this, The Lord your God, who is going before you, will fight for you, as he did in Egypt, before your very eyes, and in the wilderness. There you saw how the Lord your God carried you as a father carries his son. All the way you went until you reached this place. I don't know the wars you fought, the battles that you've been through, or that you're currently going through, or the layers of ruin that line your life. But I do know that God is fighting for you. Hear that today. Trust in that today. God is fighting for you.